So we all know every school has a bully. At my school, our bully was Brayton Smith. Everyone was scared of him because he was known to enjoy beating people up. Sometimes it seemed like even adults were scared of him too. I was terrified of Brayton, so I just got smart and became his friend. It wasn't always easy being Brayton's friend though. He punched me for no reason, I had to laugh at all of his jokes or he'd give me the look, and he always ate my lunches, but it was worth it. At least I didn't have to worry about him beating me up like other kids did. But one day, Brayton and our classmate Zai started teasing each other. Zai's jokes were so funny, and I chuckled at one of them. I looked at Brayton and Brayton was giving me the look. He told me to come here and I did because he's my friend. Then he put a pencil on his shoulder and said, knock the pencil off. I thought it was a joke, so I knocked the pencil off. You know what that means? I'm gonna beat you up after school. My eyes lit up. Notice he didn't say we're gonna fight. He said he's gonna beat me up. Oh, he's confident. When the last bell rung, I was the first person out the school. I hopped on my bike and pedaled like I stole something. After Brayton Smith said he was gonna beat me up, I avoided him for a whole week. I heard he was getting more and more mad every day, and I just didn't understand. Why does Brayton wanna beat me up? I didn't do anything to the guy. Knock the pencil off. Oh, it must have been his favorite pencil. So I thought, hey, I'll buy him new pencils, and then we can be friends again. So the next day after lunch, we were outside, and Brayton started walking up to me. Cool, I can give him the pencils. My friends later told me that when he got up to me, he said, are you ready? I didn't hear him because I was reaching in the bag to get the pencils. When I looked up, he punched me in my face. <clears throat> I was already on the ground, so all I could do was cover my face. Oh, somebody help me! The teacher was scared of Brayton, so he called security. They finally got him off of me, and he was suspended from school. I was treated like a hero because now everyone could walk around the school in peace. That is until Brayton's suspension is over. We all knew, in a matter of days, Brayton will be back. The day after, one of my friends sent me a YouTube link, and guess what it was? Me getting beat up by Brayton. The only person I remember being that close was Zai. So I gave him a call. You recorded the beatdown? You don't remember, do you? When Brayton was walking up to you and you were digging through your bag, he said to me, Take your phone out and start recording. And you know what Brayton says goes. Okay, but did you have to send it to him? Yes. When they were walking him away, he said, Send me that video, or next time, it's gonna be you. So I get that. Zai had to do what he had to do. So the next day, I went to the principal so he could get Brayton to take down the video. But he was all like, I'm not talking to Brayton. What, so he can beat me up too? Oh my goodness. Is there anyone that's not scared of this kid? At this point, the video's going viral. I want this video down. Hello, what's this? Under the video, I see a button that says report. And when I clicked it, it read, Brayton said we can't take this video down. He had YouTube scared, so I just gave up. So a few days after Brayton's suspension, I heard my doorbell ring. I looked out the window and it was Brayton! Ah, he's at my house! How does he know where I live? Uh, hello? Open up the door, Desmond. It's Brayton. I know Desmond here. I know it's you, Desmond. The principal gave me your address. Open up the door. Don't make me ask twice. I had no choice but to open up the door. Oh, hey, Brayton. Kicked any butts lately? That's why I'm here. Oh, my goodness. He's going to beat me up at my own house. You have a studio, don't you? Um, yeah. Good, I need to record a song. Brayton in the booth, getting loose, always being tough. Better like these bars, cause if not, I'ma beat you up. Like I did the kid that knocked the pencil off my shoulder. I beat him so bad, he beat himself till it was over. If that boy listening, I really want you to know. I'm the type to come and diss you in your own studio. So to the kid that got me suspended, you better watch your back, cause this still ain't finished. Send me that. I'll see you at school. So I'm nervous this morning because Brayton's suspension is over. While my dad made his coffee, he would turn on the radio. Have y'all heard that new song? It's called Knock the Pencil Off My Shoulder. It's by a new artist named Brayton the Bully. And we got him on the phone right now. Brayton, how did you come up with this song? <laughs> it was easy. I just beat up this boy at school, made a song about it, and get this. I recorded the song at his house. Oh, he recorded the song at his house. Oh! Let's hear a little bit of it. Brayton in the booth. So when I get to school, I run right into Brayton. All right, Brayton, I'm ready. Nah, man, that song we recorded just went double platinum. So today, I'm not going to beat you up, but I am going to make you miserable. Brayton started tripping me up the stairs, scaring me around corners, and planned on stealing my bike. So during recess, I loosened up my handlebars. After school, he tried to steal my bike, and he fell. Desmond, I'm going to beat you up tomorrow. Yikes. 
Today we're playing touch football in gym class, so get ready. Our gym teacher starts telling us who we're going to be guarding, and of course I got matched up with Brayton. Please, please, anybody but him. I'm sorry, Desmond. Brayton wanted to be matched up with you, and you know what Brayton says goes. The teams are set, Desmond. <laughs> oh my goodness, I already know what that guy's planning. It's touch football, but he's going to tackle me. Every time they would say hike, Brayton would start running at me like a bull. Oh, wait till I get you. I'm sure the teacher seen what was going on, but you know, another teacher scared of Brayton. It would be a timeout, but he would still come after me. I'm over here drinking water and he's still coming after me. Tying my shoe, still coming after me. Man, I only got the ball. He's still coming after me. The bell rung and gym class was over, so I stopped running. But Brayton didn't, and he tackled me. That's for when I fell off your bike when I tried to steal it. <sighs> it just seems like he's never going to give me a break. So I finally accepted the fact that Brayton just doesn't like me. If I see him while I'm walking up the stairs, I just get ready because I know he's going to trip me. Wait a minute. He didn't trip me. Well, I know when I walk around the corner, he's going to scare me. Wait, what? Mm, well, it's lunchtime, so I know he's going to want my food. Okay, what's going on? What's wrong with Brayton? Are you feeling okay? I'm great. Why do you ask? You just seem a little different today, that's all. Well, last night, I really got some good sleep. But what do you mean by I'm acting different? Well, you usually kick my butt every day. What? I would never. You must got me mixed up with another Brayton. Yeah, you're right. I don't know who this new Brayton is, but I like him. He's laughing more. He's not tripping me up the stairs. This Brayton is friendly. Oh, I can get used to this. The next day, I seen Brayton. I was like, what's up, Brayton? Why are you calling my name like we friends or something? Oh, my goodness. He must have didn't get no sleep. I'm so sorry, Brayton. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, I don't know what you thinking. I guess you didn't get no sleep last night. Brayton, don't sleep. Get out my face. Yup, Brayton's back. So one day when I got to school, I saw this kid. I waved, started walking up the stairs, and he tripped me. Ah, oh, good one. Desmond, meet my brother, Lathan. I didn't know Brayton had a little brother. Hey, little man. Lathan, he just called you little. Are you going to take that? Turns out, Layton is Brayton's big brother. I just ran away. I thought Brayton was bad, but Layton was ruthless. He was scaring teachers, beating up students, and just acting crazy. What do you think about my brother? Oh, he's your brother, all right. The coolest. After school, I seen Lathan stuck in the highest part of the jungle gym. I asked him if he needed help, but he said no. So I left. The next day when I seen Lathan and Brayton, Brayton looked a little angrier than usual. So you just gonna leave my brother in the jungle gym? <laughs> oh my God. Did this little short wannabe Brayton just lie on me? He said he didn't need help. Did you ask for help? What? No, he didn't. You calling my big brother a liar? I can't win this battle. So I just gave him my lunch money and said, I'm sorry. Works every time. So Brayton had a girlfriend and surprisingly, she was very nice. But sometimes she was a little too nice. Every time Brayton turned his head around, she would flirt with me. She would blow kisses, wink her eye at me, and put up the heart sign. What is she doing? If Brayton sees her, who knows what he's gonna do? So I would just turn around because I didn't want any problems. Well, Brayton wasn't at school one day and I seen his girlfriend at recess. And she said, I like you, Desmond. I like you too, Brittany. No, Desmond, I like, like you. You look like Neo and I like Neo. <laughs> Oh, she trying to get me beat up. Brayton would turn me into a pretzel if he heard her talking like that. I think I should go. She grabbed my hand and kissed me. What's going on here? Turns out Brayton was at the doctor's and he was still coming to school. Desmond came up to me and kissed me. She just straight up lied on me. Brayton came up to me and punched me in my eye. So today, we were being paired up for a science project. I don't know how this keeps on happening, but I got paired up with Brayton. Mr. Standard, can I work by myself? <sighs> N never mind. Working with Brayton was the worst. He didn't do anything. He made me do all the work. I did the research. I picked the flowers. I came up with the presentation. All he did was boss me around and stand there. So on the day of the presentation, Brayton comes up to me and says, The presentation better be done. It is. Just follow my lead. Who you talking to? Myself. I'm talking to myself. It was our turn to go up and our presentation was a song. Carbon dioxide plus water and light energy equals glucose in oxygen. And that makes photosynthesis. Whoa, that was good. Which one of y'all was singing? Me, I was singing. Are you serious? No way the teacher's gonna buy that. Wow, Brayton, you sing better than Desmond. You get an A+. Plus. <laughs> For you, Desmond, oh, you just get a plain old A. Of course. So today, we got a new student. His name was Bernard. Sit anywhere you want, Bernard. He sat next to me, and by the end of the class, we were friends. So at recess, Brayton came up to us and asked us for some money. Give me some money. Ah, oh, Bernard, just give him your money. Bernard said, I don't think so. Ah, oh, since you're new, I'm gonna give you one more chance. I said, give me your money. No. Oh man, Bernard's about to get beat up on his first day. I can't watch. Huh? <laughs> oh, no, it's bad. Come on, Desmond, let's go to class. 
I don't know what Bernard did to Brayton, but anytime he seen me with him, he just left me alone. Why does Brayton hate you so much? Man, I don't know. We used to be friends, but then one day he asked me to knock the pencil off his shoulder, and I did, and he hated me ever since. So at recess, Bernard walked up to Brayton and pulled out a pencil. Knocked the pencil off. Brayton knocked the pencil off. Then Bernard took off his shirt and Brayton ran away. Turns out today was Bernard's last day because he was transferring again. You can't be scared of Brayton. You gotta be brave. <laughs> yeah, all right. Today's May 8th, my birthday. I'm about to have the best day at school. Well, I thought I was. Brayton made this day the worst day of my life. He popped my birthday balloon, ate some of my birthday cookies, and ruined my birthday song. Happy birthday to Brayton. Happy birthday to Brayton. Then he ate my McDonald's birthday sandwich. Oh, that's it. I can't stand you, Brayton. I don't like you. You're so mean. You're nothing but a, but a bully. So after school, the doorbell rang, and it was Brayton. Let me guess, you're here to give me my 12 birthday hits, aren't you? Ah, oh, birthday hits funny. Brayton came over to give me another McDonald's sandwich. I don't understand. You were right at school. We used to be friends. I don't know what happened. Brayton and I just chilled on the porch and talked about when we used to be friends. <laughs> like, why did you get so mad when I knocked that stupid pencil off your shoulder? <sighs> that pencil's not stupid. You're stupid. We're not friends no more. And just like that, we were back to square one. Happy birthday to me.